episode and that was that and I have the last few that I spoke about OSP and CDMA and Nano I just spoke to you guys so uh, let's start with first thing first thing is uh, our motivation is very popular today and very much needed and uh, it's a uh, Using the orthogonal pressure simulation in the, in the most cases, and it's defined by LS Miranda A. I mentioned that it's quite difficult. And usually, you know, when we talk about LS Miranda, it just concentrate on how it works. So, um, basically, LS Miranda modulation is using the high speed information and divide into multiple lower speed sub pairs with a large number of sub pairs. And the benefit is you know first it's divided into a smaller bandwidth and it is a lower speed which means you know with a lower speed and it's harder for you know signals to run into each other which is and has more tolerance. And you know, uh, also we talk about you know for multiple sub pairs not missing each other or add and so uh, it's a delay gap to win delay gap. Yeah. And the way we do the delay gap is we kind of increase the you know sub pairs running node instead of adding the you know, forty delay. And also for the front and the end, we kind of shift to one delay. So you know, um, every every sub carrier is not running on the fourth delay, but it's just a single link without missing with each other. We want to make it work. And we just look at the transmitter of LCM. So we can see here it's in the transformation map, which is you know instead of Two pairs or multiple groups of two pairs, sine and cosine, like it's a shift, and then you know, with bunch of them, you get roughly a big, big chunk of three pair, three little pairs sitting here, and you know, all those things are kind of going to the back, and to and then with a power of like it's a shift, and then you can transmit. And for RX, it's pretty much the same. We just start and you know, take you receive it, you demodulate it, and you low pass it and you in C. And now you just have the simple delay and you you know combine all the sub pairs back to a big chunk of the zero signal. And the some application for the LCM is you can use it maybe as well to move back the signal. And also you can use apply the technology, the power line technology. So you know instead of using a big power, you split into multiple with the same knowledge. And also for the learning learn is very good. Like I if I am a gamer, I we use a lot of learn and yeah. So <laughs> I really like the learn. And then you know it just provides multiple users to a chance to use it to its full point. So now it's CDMA. Uh, CDMA is basically you just sign a bunch of codes. You know, like to say code one is one one, and you know, code two is one zero, or one one is one six one makes it one. So it's one makes it one one zero. Also apply the same code. And now you know you can put it there, you get a string of codes. And you know, and you it's pretty good. It's just a big chunk. And uh, you know, then let, let's look at here very quick. So we have like two M sequence, one is using the tab one here, another one is using tab two. And now we combine them together to make an M sequence, you know, just that code. It's very really useful to you know for the non orthogonal CDMA, like CDMA is defined. And we also look at the uh, sign sample. So 
do one of the clock first of all, right? And you first have to start with the wash code. This is like a parallel channel to pick which base station you are hearing or high activity is doing. And usually we use a wash code matrix and we make sure everything is proportional so we don't kind of mix up like we put on the matrix so that it actually follows the same thing for the different uh, positions. And then you go to the line code. My code has like 42 register of the uh, uh, this feedback shift register has 42 register so that's why it's using the 42 line code. And then you know after your line code you go to obviously there's a circle with two circles two lines that then you just click the third circle up. And kind of cool feature of the CDMA it has a lot of special as a CAG, QHAL, and you know all the Higher base station can scatter the Wi Fi and bandwidth, so it's a little bit different area. But now I, I'd i love to talk more about my work because this is my favorite stuff. But I also have some things for you guys. So I would like to start with Python, you know, before people get to the So in the input, in the output, you know, it's really quick and straightforward. I I want to talk about one more thing, so I'm going to fix that. And maybe people want to, you know, the higher transmit rate. Uh, people want to, you know, just split, you know, like, you know, same amount of user base. They want more useful. They want to be faster and make more money. So people choose to use MIMO, which is multiple input, multiple output. So we, we can see here, we have a two transmit channel and two receivers. So we can either go from T1 to R1. To R2 or 22 to R1, which is R2. So we got a you know an R transmit matrix is you know, two by two. That's why it's called transmit. So now we go to our you know there's just a different you know technology MISO, the SIMO and the MISO. I uh, it's pretty much yes, but you know not as Fast as I know. And now we can jump to an example I'd love to share with you guys. So, before I was kind of working on a, a module, it's doing like MIMO, but it has some like EVM issue, which is you know, it's kind of um, the chain zero is pretty good, but chain one is kind of um, bad for some reason. So, so we were uh, kind of trying to debug the uh, issue. Then we move from we were first doing the turn back to set, which is turn back channel zero to you know the the good zero and channel one to the good one. There's no EVM issue. And then we were doing the over the air over the internet. It 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 has an issue. So then we debug into the software, you know, and then we find out the reason. Chen one has some uh, problem to chain zero is because when we're doing the MIMO, it our we're transmitting at chain zero, right? And it's supposed to you know in when it's doing the approach, you know, when when it's chain zero is transmitting, chain one should shut up. So you know all the receivers should just hear the chain zero thing, which is makes sense, but for some reason, the software issue is on chain one. When we transmit chain zero, chain one's LNA label was actually turned to one, which means chain one is catching up what chain zero is saying, and then it's looping back to the module to chain zero, which causes a degradation. And you know, we need to upload the software, make sure that the chain one chain zero is talking, chain one LNA is closed, which makes sense. And also, when Chen Wang is talking Chen Zero, it should be, you know, stop being me. Just make sure that your signal is not looping back, keeping shouting back and forth, which causes degradation. And then, there's a very short example we'd like to just share, like, you know, the, how, you know, the actual data will speak the screen. So, you know, for example, we were choosing the MK7. You know, we were 
generally we would have given the um, the set the treatment studies about four microfilms. And you know, MCS has sub chain of fifty chips. Fifty two are used for data transmit chips and just four pilots like you know before we were when we were doing the CD enrichment and pilot in We always need the pilot in order to build up the report for the transmission of the data. And we, you know, we also because the C seven and the chip twenty can be can be combinated the method. And in C seven the chip for quad and this is five hundred bits. So now we can calculate our transmission speed with you know divide by time right of course and time is the sub total number. For data transmit and uh, five hundred bits, which is fifty four com, and and also we have a six chip. Uh, and if you look at six chip, six chip, right? six is uh, um, I I don't quite correct color here. I'm pretty sure it's six chip is twenty seven. So I just can't decide if it's six. Oh, that's the sub carrier carry bit. Like how many bits your sub carrier can have. So in C seven because it's seven here, so you know we will have six bits here. Uh, that's yeah, that's not something to do with thing, right? That's just uh, a simple thing. That's a speed definition. And then you know, there is the uh, define here where we can say sixty five. So that by C seven, I believe. And you know, when if we were kind of working that bit, so. We can just up, up for the speed and say seven as the resolution, right? And we can get the speed. That's actually the same. So yeah, pretty much that's everything I want to share with you. You know, on the on the CN, CDMA, and Mino. Uh, I really like Mino, and I would love to use Mino in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for listening. Bye bye.